UFC is tied to Avasa. Recently lost a bout in UFC Fight Night in Orlando on December 3rd. And he's famous for doing something called a shoey. So when you take a shoe, you pour beer into it and you chug it. He usually grabs some random person from the crowd and does the shoey. Maybe the shoey is one of the reasons why he lost. Not really. Anyway, we're going to go on a deep dive of shoeys here on Podiatry Explained. So the human foot has bacteria, fungus, and the most common types of things on the microbiome are non-pathogenic, meaning that they don't cause disease. These could be mutualistic, meaning that they help the host, meaning for in this kind of scenario, if the bacteria is there, that means it's, not, it's going to occupy the space that a bad bacteria would be. The pathogenic bacteria is not able to be there. There's also commensurate bacteria where they don't really do anything. As for fungus, one of the somewhat harmful but not so harmful thing is trichophyte and rubin, and these dermatophyte species of fungus. These can cause athlete's foot and things like that, but they don't typically cause any problems inside the body. Now let's get to what makes your foot smell. Methanethiol is a key component in the flavor of cheddar cheese. Uh, acetic acid, also known as vinegar, is from sugar fermentation. So byproducts associated with rot, uh, propionic acid, um, butyric acid uh, can smell like rancid cabbage. The most common foot-related chemical, isovaleric acid, is responsible for the smell we call sweaty. Alcohol typically has been used to disinfect things, and that's why people were drinking so much alcohol back in the day, because it was safer than drinking the water in many scenarios. The beer is potent enough. If there's enough alcohol in the beer, a lot of these organisms could be killed by it. But depending on what person's shoe was wearing, it depends on what you're going to be exposed with. Let's take my shoe, for example. I walked through two different hospitals today. So let's go through a list of the pathogenic bacteria and viruses that could be living on my shoe right now. These are the most common things that are infecting people in New York hospitals right now. Ready? COVID-19, hepatitis, HIV, influenza, measles, monkeypox, mumps, pertussis, RSV, tuberculosis, varicella, MRSA, VRE, E. coli, C. diff, strep, salmonella, shigella, and others. That being said, let me just do a shoey and prove to you maybe the alcohol kills most of these things. Okay, ready, buddy? Oh, buddy. Yeah, it's the only Australian beer I know. All right. Let's get this garbage over here. Oh, God. Okay, I think that's enough. <clears throat> that wasn't so bad. <clears throat> you get it more on the nose than you do on the taste. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, guys.